What is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back to discuss brand new WWE action figure news that we got this past weekend and I was unable to kind of react to them or review it or kind of discuss it here on the channel so I wanted to make time for today to upload this of course I was away in Tampa in Florida for the Royal Rumble 2024 had a fantastic time out there with everybody if you guys spoke to me or came up and discussed or wanted to take a photo or whatever man it was a very big blessing a huge blessing and great experience out there man so I appreciate every single person that came up and talked and wanted to talk figures or talk about the channel or discuss anything man i really appreciate it and i just greatly appreciate every single one of you guys but i am back now and i do want to take you guys through this news today and we will have a royal rumble vlog style video or an experience style video going up hopefully within the week i'm going to do my best to try and get that video up for you guys by next weekend potentially so we will have to see about that of course but i will definitely get that up but getting into it man i was really excited to get back and discuss these reveals but to be honest with you it's kind of on the opposite end it's not that i was super excited for the reveals but more about just kind of some things that I want to discuss about the reveals and kind of talk about here, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the reveals and talk about everything I wanted to talk about here, man. Let's start off with the Ultimate Edition action figures that we got here, man. First off, we have known about these for a while, right? We discussed it on the channel a few different times here. I think we knew some of this stuff from Collector's Insider, but we do have the Ultimate Edition Best of Ultimate series here with Charlotte Flair starting out first here. And this figure looks pretty good. You know, it's it's the same Charlotte Flair. A lot of people call this the one of the better Ultimates you'll find out there. It does not have the addition of butterfly joints. I know a lot of people were really disappointed with that, and there's a few reasons why I think that is. So, that doesn't really bother me so much. Uh, you guys know that the Best of Ultimate Warrior, it added the pinless joints, it added the butterfly joints, and so people were expecting every figure that came after that, that didn't previously have butterfly joints, that they would add the butterfly joints, the pinless joints. I want to say she already had the pinless joints treatment before this re-release right here, but the butterfly joints, I think the only reason they were able to get away with that with Warrior is because I I think they already had the existing butterfly joints ready to be used so it's not like this was already a sculpted top that had been used before that would require new tooling so they just used a previously released ultimate edition torso that that had butterfly joints that could also work for ultimate warrior so i think that's really where that happens but this charlotte flair figure looks good a lot of people were you know harping on that and talking about that but the real standout in this set is going to be the re-release the best of hollywood hulk hogan right here with the updated tan and the butterfly joints and the penless joints this is a fantastic piece. I know a lot of people are going to be wanting this. First of all, it's a it's a big upgrade, of course, from his original Ultimate Edition. This is a fantastic piece right here, man. I mean, it looks really good. Of course, it is just a re-release, but it really puts the finishing touches on that Hollywood Hogan we got so long ago. And it was an amazing figure beforehand, but now with the updated stuff going on, it is chef's kiss. This is good stuff right here, man. Great looking figure overall. It is just a repaint and what have you. The, well, the weight belt's still not accurate and things like that, but again, it is a best of. It's a re-release. It's a greatest hits version of the Ultimate Edition, but it does have some new stuff going on so I know a lot of people are going to want to update their version of Hulk Hogan I definitely want to get my hands on this figure and I'm definitely going to be doing so so you know you can dress this figure up a bunch of different ways tons of different things you can do with this figure but I, I think this is great I like this update right here for our ultimate edition best of Hollywood Hulk Hogan probably my favorite reveal or at least you know seeing the new images of this is this might be I that remains to be seen let's continue on man we also have a look at the fan takeover Rey Mysterio ultimate edition man and for I have a lot to say about this figure first of all now I I could have sworn his debut was like in a Spider-Man gear, was it not? I want to say his gear was like Spider-Man themed, right? It had like the web on there, and I want to say it had like a spider graphic or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. It was against Chavo Guerrero, or maybe it wasn't Spider-Man themed, I just thought it was Spider-Man themed at the time. Now, I could be wrong about these things, but it doesn't have the web pattern on here, and it just looks like a very plain Ultimate Edition, in my opinion. And it looks very, very similar to his Elite in the Royal Rumble set. It's very similar. Doesn't have the Mexican tattoo across the stomach. There's no torso tattoos. I mean, it does have it on the back, of course, but on the front side of the torso, there's no tattoos going on. Repeat head sculpt. We do have that new head sculpt. I want to say the smirking head sculpt is new, and it looks pretty solid. And then he does have the mask sculpt with him putting his mask on with his hands that are actually sculpted to the mask, which I think is really unique. It's even got the sculpted flaps on there and whatnot. I think that is a really cool gimmick and everything like that. I do like that about the figure, but I don't know, man. I think that one of the more modern ones with all this tattoos and, like, I want to say it was, what, like a camo gear or an army green gear that it looked really good, or maybe it was black and gold out of the options. I do believe that's the one that I voted for. But yeah, I just think this thing's missing some details that I really would like to see, and I don't know, it just doesn't stand out as much as I would like it to, but I do like the glove gimmick pulling the mask over it. I do like the smirking head sculpt. The t-shirt's a solid addition.
edition. I do like that it comes with the Cruiserweight Championship. I just, I don't know, this just isn't the one that I thought would win the vote, but the, the figure looks okay. It also comes with a, a white towel, which is interesting. He doesn't come with any mic holding hands, though, so I don't think he'll be able to actually hold that. He does have, like, the wide open hand, but I don't, I, I don't know how hard that is going to be to hold. Of course, it does have him, like, you know, wiping down his body or whatever, so it's going to have to be pressed up against something for him to hold it. Red elbow pads look okay, and we're still waiting on our fan take over Seth Rollins. I know that, I just feel like we haven't had any updates since learning about that vote. Never have seen that figure again, and I'm really hoping that the Shield Seth Rollins gear does not win the vote. We'll have to see about that, but shirt looks good. It does look like it, I do want to say this is a Velcro-less shirt, so we do have this new Rey Mysterio shirt. It is a very baggy shirt. I don't know how it's supposed to look. I almost feel like if you cut off the sleeves and cut it into a crop top, if it would look better or something like that, I'm not entirely sure, but I want to know, am I crazy? You guys let me know what you think about the Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition. That's just where I was kind of sitting on it, and I wanted to get what you guys are feeling about. I wasn't feeling it the most, but maybe it'll change once it gets here, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Next up, we're diving into WWE Elite Series 108. Lots of different stuff going on here, man. Starting out first, I figure a lot of people are going to be wanting. It is going to be Elite 108 LA Knight. A lot of people wanting this figure, man. Got to see him in action in the Fatal 4-Way this past weekend, and I don't know what it is about this figure. The head sculpt looks off. I think the basic head sculpt that we got of LA Knight is much better. I do like the formula on the upper body. I think the lower body could be adjusted. I'm not big on this thighs. These thighs look a little bit small to me. I do think he's going to be on ball joints. Just look at him, looking at him from here, it does look like he's going to be on ball joints. Definitely going to try my best to try and do some surgery here. I'm going to do a thigh swap for sure, I think. And it does look like he has pins, so you can actually switch these lower legs onto some different thighs, which I think is going to be something that we try on surgery. But I do like the upper body. I like the arm size. I like the attire. I like how you have the night graphic and the LA and everything going on here. Got the LA night. Definitely like it. I'm going to be probably doing like a boot swap. I think I'm going to put some different boots on here and try to make his Jordan 11 inspired boots. I think those are really sick. I think TJP also has done that in the in the past. And Jordan 11 is actually one of my favorite Jordans of all time. Definitely going to be doing that. I think I love that. I don't think I've never said that on the channel, but I'm definitely going to be trying to do my hand at a, you know, Jordan 11 inspired boots that LA Knight wears, but I'm excited to have an LA Knight figure. I just don't like the head sculpt that much and the legs look a bit skinny to me, but you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. A lot of people were harping on this figure. I just think it could be upgraded in ways, so we're definitely going to try our hand at it. I just think it, some of the, something about the proportions looks a bit off, but we shall see about that. Up next, we do have our Elite 108 Omos figure, and this one's got some new stuff going on. I'm pretty sure last time he didn't have these style boots. He had his shorter shoes on or the shorter boots on. We do have like a new leg sculpt going on. A repaint of his torso. I do like the white wrist tape look and I like the army green. I like this gear. The headpiece, you know, it's not going to be articulated. It is his entrance garb right there. You just slide it over the figure, which will look okay. I'm just not that excited for an Omos. I think his first figure was so damn good. This is, of course, an updated version of Omos, but I don't know if we really needed that in my personal opinion. But he, I'm sure he does sell like hot cakes. I'm sure a lot of people do want an Omos figure. Head sculpt looks phenomenal. I mean, it's a really, his first figure was a damn good figure. It was in my top 10 of 2022, I'm pretty sure, on the Elite 97 Omos. So I'm sure this one's going to be just as good. It looks heavenly, you know, all the different stuff. I think it does look really good. I just don't think it was necessarily needed, but I think the figure is going to check all the boxes for you for Omos. I know a lot of kids are going to want their hands on the Omos figure right here. Wouldn't be my first pick, but I think the figure still does, it's got all the boxes checked for it, which does work in its favor. Fantastic head sculpt, even if it is repeated. Great feel in hand, great posability, likeness to the character on TV, so it does do all those things, which is a great, it's signs of a great figure. I think it's going to be a great figure, it's just, I'm, the, the excitement level for this figure isn't that high for me, personally. Next up, we do have a controversial one, man. We have the Elite 108 Brock Lesnar figure here. A lot of stuff going on here, man. I do not like this head sculpt. I think it had good potential. I just think the mouth's too wide open. We've, ta we've talked about this before. I think this figure, or this head sculpt's coming on a basic figure coming soon, and I feel like this head sculpt just, it, I call it Honeycomb Mouth Brock Lesnar. It looks like the old commercials from the Honeycomb cereal or their mouths would be really big. That is what this reminds me of here. And besides that, it is pretty much the Elite 96, the Royal Rumble Elite, just with a new entrance vest, which a lot of people are saying to put on their new Monday Night War Scott Hall. I, I, I hate to tell you, Brad, this is probably going to swallow that figure, but we'll have to see. Maybe it won't. And also, you're going to have to repaint the pants probably because the jeans on the pants and the entrance jacket right here are not going to fit. I'd be interested to know how well the Orange Cassidy vest fits once you switch that and cut that. You know, the one I put on my Dolph Ziggler on surgery. I would wonder how well that would fit a Brock Lesnar figure. I'm interested to see how that works. We will see about that on surgery. I have a lot of that Orange Cassidy. You know, you could cut that and make that, put that, maybe put that on your Scott Hall or something, but I feel like that this specific one's going to swallow that figure. It may not, though. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but you know, I like Brock Lesnar figures. I think they're great. Cowboy hat's solid. I don't know. It's just kind of a plain release, and I don't really like the head sculpt, so I don't 
don't know, man. I just don't really care for this figure all that much. But we'll have to see when it comes out, of course. But I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. You know, he does do that smirk and laugh and stuff. But I don't know. The mouth size is kind of putting me off there. Very cartoonish almost. And next up, we do have Terry Gory, the Executioner. Two in one figure right here. Very cool release. Not a guy that I would expect to get right here, to be honest with you. It's crazy that they put the UWF Championship in the photo for the figure. I think that's fantastic here. So you guys can actually see the UWF Championship in his little PNG shot right here on the side of the packaging, which I think is really awesome. I love the entrance garb and all those different things about it. I think the head sculpt's solid enough. It almost looks like one of those older Mattel head sculpts. It doesn't really look like it has true effects, but it still looks really good. It does have true effects. I'm not saying it doesn't have true effects. It's just the way that it looks to me doesn't look like it has true effects, if that makes any sense. But another case where they really could have given this man bigger arms, man, the, the WWE Mattel elites are missing the medium arms, man. The, the arms that they need for Mankind, the arms that they need for Kevin Owens, the ones that aren't super cut, the ones that they used to put on the Luke Harper figures in elite form, like those bigger arms that aren't super cut, just 5% body fat arms that are perfect. They just need to make those into double jointed arms. And we've seen it on the British Bulldog. I think those would work pretty good here. Or maybe these are the British Bulldog arms. These may actually be the British Bulldog arms, but I don't think so. I think these are your standard arms. But he, he should get bigger arms here, but not the mankind ones that they give him on his Defining Moments figure or, you know, that overly jacked arms. I know those were kind of a one-of-one -one sculpt with the ripped sleeves and whatnot, but the ones that we saw in the, the Foley 3-pack, which I should review this week, arms right here are too skinny for Terry Gordy, but I do like the entrance garb. I think it looks amazing. You have the hood and all those different things, man. A lot of tons of detail going on in this figure right here, which is awesome. You put this with your damn Mankind, your Paul Bearer. You put this with some different stuff going on, man. So I think you could do some really cool things with this Terry Gordy figure. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come with other figures from around this time period. But we will have to see about those things. But it is cool to get this figure and all those different things. Saw this back at San Diego Comic-Con, of course. Definitely a throwback there, but I like the figure nonetheless, even though the arms are a little bit small. Probably going to do an arm fix-up on this guy. Next up, we have Elite 108 Bronson Reed. And am I tripping, Brad? I... I could have swore this man had a chest tattoo. His last Elite had it, and I have a hot take, man. I think his Bam Bam Bigelow-inspired gear is better than this figure right here. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a repeat head sculpt. And this is kind of what I was talking about, man. Like, getting into the different figures and, and talking about these reveals. We got Best of Ultra. Uh, let's just wait. I'll, I'll wait for my... Uh, wait for the detail to talk about everything like that at the end here. This is a repeat head sculpt. He does have actual elbow pads on there instead of them actually painted on like they were last time I'm pretty sure. But I think he also did come with Neva. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe they're painted on underneath here. Because I think that's how it was last time. But it's kind of a repaint of his first figure in the Bam Bam Bigelow. You don't get cloth jacket, but you do get the little entrance duster, which I really like. The green and white looks very cool or fire, if you will. Very, you know, pun intended there. Tattoos look good. He's missing his chest tattoo. I don't know if that's going to be finalized or not. If that, if they do, if they are missing the chest tattoo, that will be a big miss for sure. But his first go-around figure was really good. And so this is kind of a repaint of his first figure. So, you know, that kind of tells you a few things. The figure absolutely looks good, but it is pretty much a repaint of the previously released version that was in the Bam Bam Bigelow gear, which I think is a better figure overall. Next up, we have Chelsea Green, a figure that I'm very much excited for, and a lot of figure collectors in general are going to be excited for this one for obvious reasons, of course. And I think this is a standout figure, but I don't really care for the head sculpt, man. I like that they went with this, like, shushing style expression, but I would have preferred her smiling or, you know, make a... Chelsea Green is an attractive woman, and I think that they didn't really do her as much justice as they should have here, but you do have some really good things going on here. The chase version is going to be this ombre, like, sunset style gear, and then you have the regular version in the blue, bright, purplish purple like concord style color and I like what they've done here they have this pinless knees going on pinless legs and they have these new lower legs that have the boots kind of sculpted in there if there's no boot cut right here though I'm it's gonna sicken me I hope to god there's boot cut right here surely there is if there's no boot cut on this and it's just thigh cut oh man I am going to vomit into the yard man that is gonna be and I can't tell by these photos if there's boot cut it looks like in these photos it doesn't look like there's boot cut and that's gonna be very very upsetting setting to me if there's no boot cut here but figure does look really good I like the waist wrap with the you know I don't even know what that's called it's like twill I think is what it's called coming off there from the waist wrap she's got her entrance hat she's got the shushing hands or the pointing hands but like see the facial expression where she's smiling on the packaging looks much better in my opinion and I know we have basics of her we have a chase and a regular edition of her basic maybe her basic head sculpt will look good on here but I would have liked to seen her smiling here because I do like the uh, the hair color and everything like that I think there's some good things here and I you know I, I don't think it looks nothing like her but I 
I don't think they quite captured what she looks like here, and that kind of bothers me for this figure, but that is your Elite 108. Do... I don't know. I I, I don't think this... It, it's going to be interesting when we get all these in hand, because I'm not sure entirely if these guys are going to make it into our top figures of the year. You know what I'm saying? So we'll have to see about all those things, man, but let's move it on forward. Elite 108. We're moving into some basic figures right here, and we are getting into basic 145. Ludwig Kaiser here. We do have a regular version and a chase variant. He really looks like the villain off the Marine. I can't remember the actor's name, but he's also the Terminator 2 villain, the cop or whatever, the bot there. Very similar head sculpt right here. Maybe you can make a villain from the Marine. Go up with your John Cena action figures, but I don't know. I just feel like there's maybe too many wrinkles right here or something like that, but it, you know, it's a solid basic. You can pose it around and do all those different things. I think the figure is okay. You know, he's really easy to convert into an elite, so that's something I'm definitely going to try my hand at because I think that he would make for a pretty cool elite figure. I'm thinking maybe if you use the Elite Miz, like Elite 53 Miz, you could probably do some stuff with the Navy gear, or maybe, I don't know, we'll play around with some different stuff, do some swappages. Maybe we can make ourselves a, you know, Elite Imperium when it's all said and done, but we also have Tiffany right here, man. Great looking figure. I saw where this figure is going for astronomical prices. I will say, basics are still looking flat. I just don't like the paint apps on this figure. Women's basics figures are just so flat. It just throws me off. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the sculpts, or maybe the paint apps over the sculpts, or what have you, but this is that old, like, Mandy Rose boot mold that I never liked. They just look really weird in the feet, but the head sculpt looks solid. I think that you could probably touch it up a little bit and bring out her features a little bit more, but I still like the figure a lot. I'm definitely going to be copping this if I find it at retail, try to convert her in a, uh, into an elite or an ultimate or something. She looked really good at the Royal Rumble. She's flying around doing swantons, so really excited to have a Tiffany Strat figure. We also have Kane here. This is a re-release of the previous released Kane figure that I shat on here on the channel. I just don't like this head sculpt. I don't think it really looks anything like Kane. It's a very weird looking head sculpt in my personal opinion. It looks like he's, I, it, you know what it really reminds me of? It reminds me of the soiled it Spongebob face. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. That's what that, that's what the vibes that it's giving me here. I think the R3 Tech Kane head sculpt, just copy that. Look look just like the Jax R3 Kane head sculpt and revamp that. I think that is a perfect Kane head sculpt. And even his Ultimate Edition heads are fantastic. So I would really like to see them implement that here instead. And I would love to see that in Ultimate form. Uh, this version of Kane is one of my favorite versions of all time. But I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this basic. We also have a Black Walter attire right here. And they are using the Brock Lesnar mold, which is pretty cool here. I think we have seen that used before on a, on a Walter basic or a Gunther basic here. Looks pretty good. It's a repaint pretty much for the most part. Looks pretty good though. It's a standard Gunther. I know a lot of people are going to want a Gunther figure, so I think this is going to sell. And we also have Sami Zayn to finish out the Elite or the Basic Series 145. It is from his matchup with the Usos at WrestleMania with Kevin Owens. And they did take off the PWG logo off the tights. Very upsetting. I thought that it was going to make it. It was in the render image. And so they did take that off. That is upsetting. I do like the head sculpt. It is a cool moment to get in figure form here with the champions and everything like that with KO and Sami Zayn. And maybe that's what their ultimates are going to be in. Maybe we'll have to see about that, you know. But we also have Kevin Owens who kickstarts our basic series 146. And he also has the gorilla removed off of his tights. And he also wore a attire at the Royal Rumble that also featured the Gorilla logo, and that that probably won't make it if they make that in figure form. So that is kind of disappointing. I think that would have been cool, but I guess they just couldn't work it out with licensing or what have you. But, you know, just a run-of-the-mill figure here. It does have the updated articulation, which does make basics much better, but this is a repeat head sculpt. We have a Roman Reigns basic. Not going to set the world on fire. No newness going on here. Something we've seen so many times, but it does have the new articulation. It's a very hard figure right here, man. This is a, there is a chase version in all pink. Then we have the black and pink here. This is the George Washington style head sculpt. This is the head sculpt I use for my George Washington custom. And it just favors George Washington to me. Just not a huge fan of the head sculpt right here, man. A lot of people always drag this head sculpt. And, you know, I looked at this head sculpt, saw George Washington, so I converted it. I cannot believe they actually reused this. I don't know. They, there's plenty of head sculpts to use. I just don't know why they would reuse this one. It's very odd. Like, head scratching idea, kind of. I, I don't know what's going on there. You guys can let me know what you think about that one. And then finishing it up, we do have our G figure, man, and I don't think this head sculpt really looks like him, to be honest with you. I think he's a more handsome guy than this. I think he's a more handsome guy than this, and I feel like the head shape's a little bit off. You know, I think that Geo kind of has that Stone Cold Steve Austin head shape, you know, where it's a little bit longer than wider. And then here, he just looks like he's bunched up a little bit, man. I don't know, man. Just very odd. I, I just think this one misses. But maybe I'm wrong. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. I like to hear your feedback. I, I want to know if you agree or disagree with me when looking at these figures, man. So just let me know what you guys think on these head sculpts and things of that nature, of course. But moving on to the complete Basic Series 146, we do have a Shayna Baszler Basic. Been a minute 
minute since we've seen her, I do believe, in figure form, but the red gear looks pretty good here. Got the face paint on the head sculpt. This is solid looking Shayna. Got the face paint on there. A lot of people were wanting like a hair down head sculpt. I feel like I don't think we've seen one before, so I don't know. Maybe I guess you guys are gonna have to wait on that version if that's what you guys want. Gonna have to do a little bit more waiting before you get there. But running it all up, man, let's take a look at the new WrestleMania retro ring that is gonna get, be going up for sale very soon. So the new WWE Retro WrestleMania ring will be going up for pre-order on Thursday. I do believe of this week, actually, at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard or 12 p.m. Eastern. It is only going to be actually $25, which is a fantastic price. I think that's great. It's going to come with the Classic Mania logo sticker, an 80s version of the WWE logo sticker. You can customize it a little bit, put up whatever you want on there. You got the title stand, monitor stickers, all the different stuff. And then we have WWE Retro Bundle Wave 5, which is going to be 60 bucks, and it's going to feature the, of course, Immortal Hulk Hogan. It's going to have first-time retros with Big John Studd, WrestleMania 1 referee Muhammad Ali, as well as the first female retro, which is going to be Wendy Richter. So all this stuff is going up for pre-order, man. Be sure to go and get that if you, you know, if you guys want that or what have you. But pretty cool looking set. I think it looks pretty good. You know, all the different things considered. Official four pack with the retros with Ali, Richter, Big John, and Hulk Hogan there to celebrate the 40 years, of course. And then rounding everything out, man, we do have our three superstars figures. And we do have British Bulldog coming up right here. He's even going to have his flag and entrance gear and whatnot. This is Series 9. Pretty solid looking British Bulldog. We do have Muhammad Ali, of course, going to have to make the most out of that Muhammad Ali license. He's going to come with cloth goods shorts and a cloth goods robe. And he's going to have interchangeable hands and boxing gloves. So you can put on whichever one. I mean, obviously, the boxing gloves makes the most sense to me. And Men on Cardi it looks really damn good. I think the Muhammad Ali figure looks really, really solid. And then the last figure in our Series 9 of the Superstars Wave is going to be Kane, who's also going to feature his cape. And he is in the Mattel Creations Attitude Era Raw is War Ring Ultimate Edition attire with the black and red instead of the red and black, which looks very, very good. Love it. I'm really excited to get a Stone Cold Steve Austin. I could see them doing cloth like jorts and then maybe a cloth vest would be really cool for an Austin figure. Maybe a pissed off head sculpt for the Stone Cold Steve Austin, but the Kane figure looks really, really good. I think that Stone Cold's definitely missing from this line. I think he definitely needs to be added. You have Kane, you have Rock, you have different guys like that. Definitely need to get Austin in here for the Superstars line. A Superstars line I love. I just can't ever find them, man. So that's that's really what's bummerific. I can't ever find the ones that I really want. And I wanted to be a completionist on the on the line, but I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to be doing that nowadays. So I don't know. We will have to see about that. But I do believe that is every single bit of the news. I feel like we've been here a while trying to get as much detail as possible. But I think going back to what I wanted to say, why I wasn't as excited about these reveals specifically, and I guess I can go ahead and get into why I wasn't that hyped for these reveals or why I was kind of disappointed in the reveals that were showcased here today, man. We do have the Charlotte Best of. I'm not really a huge fan of the Best of. I think it's okay, but it's not nothing I'm going to, like, lose my mind over. I do like the Hulk Hogan. I think the update to the Hulk Hogan is nice, but it is a previously released Hogan. It's a previously released Charlotte Flair. The Rey Mysterio, I feel like we pretty much have that in Elite Form in the Royal Rumble line. I don't know if it necessarily needed an Ultimate Edition. I much would have preferred a modern rendition of Rey Mysterio with all of his tattoo details and new mask sculpts and things of that nature. Even though I I love the Ruthless Aggression era, and I love this time period. I just think it's missing details and stuff that, I don't know, just doesn't stand out as much to me. Elite 108, the Brock Lesnar figure, again, looks very similar to his Elite 96. Got the honeycomb mouth head sculpt. Got rubber entrance stuff, and it's pretty much his Royal Rumble Elite and the Elite 96 which are very, very similar. Omos, I thought his first figure was pretty much perfect, so I don't think, I didn't think that we really needed this one per se right in this moment, but again, it is a great figure. I just wasn't that excited for it. LA Knight, excited to have an LA Knight Elite. Just think some of the things about it don't really stand out. Legs are a little bit weird. Head sculpt is not as good as the basic. I thought they were just going to throw the basic head sculpt on there. That kind of threw me off. The, I, I just fully expected them to put the basic head sculpt on there. Terry Gordy, love the figure. Think it looks great. Can't wait for it. Arms are a little bit skinny. Bronson Reed, missing the chest tattoo. Not as good of an attire as the Bam Bam Bigelow repeat head sculpt. Chelsea Green, great looking figure. Potentially my favorite figure in the set. Head sculpt's not my favorite. And then potentially doesn't have boot cut. So we're going to have to see about those things. But I don't know. It's like I can almost make a case for each figure. And I, I guess you could call some of this nitpicking, I guess, if you wanted to. But I don't know. It just didn't, you know, it wasn't the most exciting wave for me personally. So maybe you guys are excited for each and every figure in this wave. That would be amazing. And I hope you guys are. You guys can let me know down below. But I don't know. I'd like to know where all you guys stand. Do you think my points are valid?
Hollywood. I'd like to know all those things down in the comment section below, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the news video for all of the reveals we got the other day. And I do apologize for it being late. I just didn't have an opportunity this weekend to really step away and do the news video for all of this stuff. But I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. And also, we did have a brand new sign up the other day. Huge shout out to you, brother Evolution Figures, for signing up to the Patreon. He is a UK brother. So we do appreciate him for signing up for the Patreon and becoming a member there. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. And a huge shout-out to everyone I met over the weekend, man. You guys were absolutely incredible, including Brody Lee Jr. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Where you, where do you stand on these figures? So were you slightly disappointed in certain things? Or I don't know. Just let me know all those things, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.